of course, it probably would have been a very different outcome had it not been Kasus, but somebody from, say, Cuba asking for U.S. assistance to maybe free Cuba from Spanish rule. Well, and that's where actually um, another one of the antebellum elements I look at is the filibustering movements, mm -hmm. including yeah. the attempts to filibuster Cuba. And this filibustering, of course, were private military expeditions to try and conquer and set up a government in a foreign territory. Filibustering became mildly popular in the antebellum United States. It was certainly being debated. There were a few filibuster expeditions that tried to get off the ground. Some of them succeeded temporarily. And so white Southerners are actually pulling their analysis of European nationalist movements into their analysis of mm -hmm. Cuba. And one of the reasons why many of them would like to filibuster Cuba is to ensure that Cuba would remain slaveholding and to ensure that foreign powers in Europe do not have the ability to come in end slavery in Cuba and from there spread anti-slavery into the southern United States. So even though filibustering doesn't start out as a southern idea, it kind of becomes a southern idea by the end of the antebellum period as white southerners want to use it to spread slaveholding. And like I say, they're using these comparisons with the European nationalist movements to try and claim this is legitimate, to claim that they're in filibustering representing the will of the people, for example, just like Hungarians were representing the will of the people and therefore they have the right to filibuster. Now, again, this isn't factually accurate. This is more ideological yeah, manipulation. Would disagree, right? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, they really, you know, it really does speak to the extent to which they see all of these events of nationhood as tied together and they're really interpreting all of these events related to nationhood government power through this same lens of how can white Southerners expand and protect slavery while also advancing this Southern interpretation of a slaveholding republic, basically.